After the 9-11 attacks, it took about 10 years for the United States government to get Osama bin Laden. They got him in May 2011. Now, as of tonight, we know it took another 11 years after that to get bin Laden's brain, to get the man who was bin Laden's number two in al-Qaeda at the time of 9-11, the man who took over as al-Qaeda's leader after bin Laden was killed by U.S. Navy SEALs. The string of attacks and murders attributed to Ayman al-Zawahiri is stomach-churning. He was the ideological mastermind behind the turn of al-Qaeda and groups like that toward indiscriminate mass murder of civilians anywhere, including Muslims, all in the name of Islamic piety. And how he got there, we now, now looking back at it, it seems like a straight shot, but if you sort of dropped in at him at any time in his biography, you wouldn't have known he was going there. He was trained as a doctor. He was a trained surgeon. He was from a respected family in Egypt, born and raised in Cairo. By the time he was 15 years old, he was a committed radical who wanted to try to impose Islamic theocracy by force. He formed his first terrorist cell with the aim of overthrowing the government of Egypt when he was all of 15 years old. When Islamic militants did assassinate Egypt's president, Anwar Sadat, at a military parade in 1981, Ayman al-Zawahiri was one of hundreds of Islamist radicals who was tried and imprisoned for that crime. He was tortured for years in Egyptian prisons. While he was there, he became an informant, supplying information on his comrades to the Egyptian security services. He was released from prison in Egypt in 1984, even more radical than when he had gone in. He nurtured the growth of his terrorist group, which we, he, he had literally founded as a teenager. It was called Al-Jihad, or Islamic Jihad. He spent time after his release from prison in Saudi Arabia, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan. He eventually became close with a rich Saudi Arabian guy who, in 1988, has founded, had founded his own terrorist organization. The Saudi guy was wealthy enough that he was able to bankroll much of their movement himself, he also had great connections all across the Arab world. He was a great recruiter to their cause. Ayman al-Zawahiri eventually became the Saudi guy's personal doctor. Which After relentlessly seeking Zawahiri for years under Presidents Bush, Obama, and Trump, our intelligence community located Zawahiri earlier this year. He had moved to downtown Kabul to reunite with members of his immediate family. After carefully considering the clear and convincing evidence of his location, I authorized a precision strike that would remove him from the battlefield once and for all. None of his family members were hurt, and there were no civilian casualties. Now, justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. People around the world no longer needed to fear the vicious and determined killer. The United States continues to demonstrate our resolve and our capacity to defend the American people against those who seek to do it.